Good morning, John. You left me in Missoula, and I forgive you, but I don't know if you're gonna forgive yourself because this weekend, Catherine and I went hiking in the Bitterroot Valley, and we came across a hatch of butterflies. It's probably safe to say that Lepidoptera is the most beloved order of insects. And generally, we think of insects as creepy, bitey, stingy, gross, ugly, yucky bugs. And then you have butterflies, and people, like, beg to be covered in them. Put the bugs on me! No other bug does this work for. So Lepidoptera is the order that contains butterflies and moths. And you might recognize Optera from uh, Pterodactyl and uh, uh, Ornithopter. Lepid, though you probably don't recognize, comes from the word for scales. And that doesn't necessarily make sense to you, except butterflies have scales! Carl Linnaeus, the guy who named the order Lepidoptera, and also the guy who came up with the current system that we have for naming species, if you're curious, important dude, looked at butterflies under a microscope and said, oh my god, they're freaking covered in scales. That's crazy! And that's a direct quote from his journal. That's crazy! When I was in grade school, I uh, told this to a kid named Dell. I said, butterflies have scales in their wings, and if you touch them, the, the, the scales will rub off and they will die. And Dell was like, that's ridiculous. Look, the butterfly has no scales on and it. And I was like, no, they're microscopic. You have to, and then he punched me. True story! Smartness can be intimidating. Some people punch in response to intimidation, so. Let that be a lesson to us all. Stop being smart! Most of the tens of thousands, I'm pretty sure, of butterflies we saw were western whites. We also saw a bunch of other species, but most of them by far were the western whites. And western whites are very common. They look pretty much exactly the same as checkered whites, if you have checkered whites where you live. The only difference between checkered whites and western whites is that western whites live in mountains and checkered whites live in the plains. The other difference, there's two, is that they have incompatible genitalia. Lepidopterists, uh, people who study butterflies, sounds like a nice, beautiful job, but mostly they spend their time staring at butterfly genitalia. Pretty much the only reliable way to differentiate between species. So if you're thinking about switching your career path to lepidopterist, just know that. A lot of butterfly genitalia in your future. Walking through a forest full of butterflies will make you think a lot. At least it made me think a lot of things. It made me think about bell curves and how at one point there will be one butterfly left alive in that forest. And at one point there was only one adult butterfly that had hatched. And in between, it's a curve, but at that very edge part, it was one. It made me wonder whether people can still care about nature if they don't get the opportunities that I have to go out and experience it and see at how amazing it is. And then on the corner of my eye, I noticed all the rose petals on the water and I thought, that was weird. There's not a lot of flowering plants right now. I wonder what all those petals are from. And then I realized, those are not flower petals. Those are butterflies. Just like our economy goes through booms and busts, so too do the economies of nature. So too do. Is that grammatically correct? Doesn't sound like it, but I think it is. There were so many butterflies in the forest that every predator was full. The chipmunks, which don't even eat butterflies, were eating butterflies because they're everywhere. The chickadees were so full they could hardly fly. The spider webs were torn apart by butterflies, way more butterflies than any spider could ever eat. Bees! Bees were attacking butterflies. I didn't know they did this. I saw it happen. Attack a butterfly chew off its wings and then fly away with the body. And there were some bees that didn't even bother chewing off the wings and they would fly away with the whole butterfly, making it look like this dead butterfly, unmoving dead butterfly was flying away. It was very strange. When I started to notice the dead butterflies everywhere, that's when I started thinking about the main thing that I thought about on this hike. The energy that makes it all happen. The energy of the sun passing into plants, passing into caterpillars, passing into butterflies, passing into bees, passing into spiders, into birds, until finally the energy is let loose again, it's free again, to dissipate into the universe as energy wants to do. Some days it seems to me like the purpose of life is to convert energy into beauty. And I know that that's not true, I know that that's not rationally true, but some days, it's okay for things to not be rationally true. John, I will see you on Monday.